Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. This has been a really strange year. We've had so many hopes and dreams. We thought that Apple would give us a USB-C iPhone. We thought that Google would give us a flagship pixel that doesn't suck. We thought that Snapdragon would be beaten by Exynos. However, on that last bit, I have some news. The balance is shifting. Let's get started. So let me start at the same place where we start every Snapdragon vs Exynos video. Change.org. Stop selling us inferior Exynos phones, Samsung. So Samsung, if you don't know, on their flagship phones has two series of processors, Exynos and Snapdragon. Exynos is always less powerful and less power efficient when compared to Snapdragon. It got so bad that people started a change.org petition and unfortunately, even after grilling them in their shareholder meeting, Samsung did absolutely nothing about it. It's really so bad that if there wasn't this weird anti-China wave sweeping the world, I think Samsung's market share would have dropped a lot more than it has. Anyway, we have three bits of information for you. The first one is on Reddit, we have a leaked Geekbench 5 result of the Exynos 1000 and the Snapdragon 875 which is going to be found on the Samsung Galaxy S21. The Exynos 1000 has a single core score of 1300 and a multi-core score of 4250. The Snapdragon 875 has a single core score of 1150 and a multi-core score of 4090. Wait, stop. The Snapdragon 875 is going to be slower than the Exynos 1000. Before you get too excited, I should tell you that Apple's A14 chip, the 5 nanometer chip which is currently found on the iPad Air, is actually having a single core score on Geekbench 5 of 1600 and a multi-core score of 4600. So Apple is still way, way ahead of both Snapdragon and Exynos. But however, for the first time in a really long time, Exynos might just overtake Snapdragon. The second bit of information is that both Snapdragon and Exynos will enjoy ARM's Cortex-X1 chip, their most powerful chip ever and it's apparently 23% faster than the Cortex A78 which will be found in all of next year's flagship processors. What's interesting here is that originally we thought that Snapdragon would be the only one to get X1 but apparently Exynos is also getting X1. Final bit of information to burst your bubble there, the AMD powered graphics, the RDNA 2, the partnership that Samsung signed with AMD, well, it's not going to happen in 2021, it's going to happen in 2022. According to notable leakster Ice Universe, they're saying that Mali GPUs are the only GPUs that are going to be found on the Exynos 1000 series of processors. Now, where does this leave us? We have Exynos, which is miles slower than Snapdragon in 2020, but at least in 2021, when it comes to CPU alone, Exynos might be faster, and when it comes to GPU, it's anyone's game. If you're planning to buy a Samsung flagship phone in 2020, please don't. No matter how rich you are, you will definitely regret the purchase. All you have to do is to wait for next year, and all your dreams will be fulfilled. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video. And we will see you guys in the next episode.